Excuse me. Um, I heard about Scott, but I, I know that it's not true. Oh, well, I'm afraid it is. No, 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 I'm sorry. There must be some sort of mis mistake no, that you made. No mistake. Scott confessed. Um, well, can I at least see him or talk to him? No, you can't. Hey, man, the guy's her cousin. Shouldn't she be allowed to visit him? You're Asher, right? I'm Kobe's friend, and I think this is ridiculous. Well, mister, I think this is ridiculous. The reason Colby can't see your cousin is because he's already been transferred to state prison. I'm sorry, Colby. Hey. Why does this keep on happening? Why is my family a mess all the time? I'm sorry. I just want my family back. I know you do. I know. I'm sorry. What do you think? You're a big, strong, tough guy now? No. This doesn't change anything. No, this was stupid. You could have been hurt. So what? Will you just stop it, damn it? Do you have any idea what could have happened to you out there? I don't care. You, you may not care, but Emma does. And I care. I care about you, Annie. Come on. I know you guys want to help, but I, I can't stay here. You afraid that your husband will find out that you were brought to the hospital? He'll get in trouble again. And blame you. He always does. But you did come to the Miranda Center for help. A couple months ago, but they said there was no room. Uh, some money scandal or something. Another one of David Hayward's great gifts to the community. Well, what can we do about this? I already put in a call. There's a room all ready for you. Then it's settled. Once you've healed, you, know, you can... He'll find me. In this time, he'll kill me. So is there going to be a groom at this wedding campaign? Um, of course there's going to be a groom. How sad would it be if there was just a bride alone on her big day? Right? Man better watch himself, not get too carried away. Baby, I would not worry about Seth. He's engaged to a good friend of mine. Love is definitely in the air. Mm. Oh, right, okay. Oh, what? Are we boring you? Oh, no, no. Um, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I gotta get back to the station. Right now? What? Yeah. I'll see you guys later. What was that about? I have no idea. Kobe, it's me. Just want to know what's happening at the police station. Call me. Maybe we should just get out of here. Kobe? <laughs> My dad uh, raised me to believe that the Chandlers were invincible. That we are special. Ugh. We are special, all right? The station should have a jail cell named after us. We've all been here. Come on, you've never been in jail. Stole cars to get back home. Wow. Such a real desperado. This isn't funny. No, it isn't funny. Sorry. Scott was supposed to bring us back together. Uncle Stuart's son. <laughs> You see, my uncle was the sweetest, kindest, most generous person in the entire world. And when he died, our family went from screwed up to disaster. <laughs> and I really thought Scott could fix things, but he got dragged down with the rest of us. Turns out he's just another Chandler. I'm beginning to think the name's a curse. Come on, stop it. What? Listen, you're not cursed. You were born into a mess, that's all. We've all got problems. Your job is to just be strong. I know you can do it. I mean, I've seen you do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but where did that come from? I'm just pretty good at giving advice. Just don't too often listen to myself. 
No, thank you. And you're right. I gotta go. Where to? Well, I'm gonna go fix the mess that I was born into. Why did you bring me here? Will you just calm down. Why are we in your bedroom? Oh, I see. I get it now. You weren't trying to save me. You wanted to bring me home so you could have me all yourself. Take off your clothes. You can go to hell. Okay. But you're still gonna have to take off your clothes. No! Annie? You know what? You may want me, but I sure as hell don't want you. That's fine. Don't blame me when your dress gets ruined. Oh! Oh, you are sick! You are a sick person if you think I'm gonna get in the shower with you. Come on. No! Oh, in your dreams, buddy! Let's go! I'm not showering with you! Stay in there until you sober up! Oh my god, it's freezing! Oh my god, it's freezing! Hey, why'd you... Why'd you walk out like that? Um, because I had to get back here. No, you didn't. You're off duty till tomorrow. Okay. I came back to study for... The detective's exam. You're taking the detective's exams? Why would you? Why does it matter? I'm taking it, okay? So I don't have time to waste on hanging out. Having dinner with me is Randy and Frankie is a waste of time. I'll tell you, what do you want? The truth. Here's the truth. I'm tired of this game that we're playing we go out and is it a date no it's not it's just when i think that it might be something else you always pull back i'm not the one who ran out of the restaurant no Brad. you weren't but you were the one who were crashing lower your voice uh, why because they might think we're together you really want one of us to get transferred huh why would they report us, Natalia? They have no reason to think that we're actually together. All we do is fight and, and get on each other's nerves. Exactly. I have to study so I can pass this test. Because I'm gonna be the best damn detective this department has ever had. The Miranda Center is designed for people in your situation. All right? It's secure. You'll be protected. I don't know. You know, I know that it's hard to trust people that you've just met, but sometimes you need to. We've all had setbacks. We're all challenged in this life. But if you give up, if you lose faith, then with it goes all hope that things will ever get better. Sweetheart, give me your hand. I know you're hurt. And you're scared. And I also know what it feels like to be helpless because I felt that when I lost my sight. I had moments when I could not handle it and wanted to quit. It was too hard. But you probably had a family or friends. I don't, I don't have anybody. Oh, darling, you have me. And you have Bianca. And if you reach out and let people help you, you'll be surprised how many friends that you have. But you have to take that first step, Betty. Now, can you do that? Can you? Hmm? Yeah, yes. Good. Very good. Very good. It is time for you to start living again. Okay, don't cry. Why didn't you tell me about Scott? I left you messages, but you've been taking a break from the family drama. Well, your messages never mentioned anything about federal crime or prison. I tried to control the situation, but it got out of hand. Don't lie to me, Jair. I know you did this. 
You did this because you wanted to get rid of Scott so you could have Annie all to yourself. I am not responsible for this. Right. At the expense of the company? No. And we are in big trouble right now. Just stop fighting me, Colby. Please. Because we're it. You, me, and AJ, we are the last Chandler standing. Don't surprise me, together. You have to. For Emma. <sighs> Don't you get it? There is no family standing because you started this war with Scott. No. Dad started it when he pitted us against each other. Oh my gosh. There's always somebody else to blame but yourself. Let me ask you something, JR. Did Dad ask you to sleep with Scott's wife? Colby. No. I guess he would have because... Annie used to be his wife, and that would be history repeating itself. I can't take it back. I know you can't. But you can stay far away from Annie, and you can stay far away from her bed. It's going to take a lot more than that to fix this family. I need to know that you're with me. We have to pull together now. Otherwise, this family's done.